Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to use switch cases in your PHP programming. Switch cases is also one of the conditional statement in PHP and generally you can use switch cases if you have multiple conditions to check. So let's see how we can use switch cases. So for example, I have for example a variable called number and I initialize this value is equal to 1 and I want to check whether uh, this uh, whether the value of this number is uh, 1 or not or whatever okay so I can use it using uh, I can use switch cases to evaluate that for example I can write switch and then it should be switch like this with a keyword switch and then it ends like this so I already told you that whenever you want to evaluate different condition or more than one condition you can use switch cases so we have case in switch like this and we can evaluate this case but first of all switch cases takes an argument whatever you want to evaluate first so for example I want to evaluate the value of number and on the basis of this value I want to decide some messages for example so I can do it like this switch case 1 and this should be colon and then I can just echo this echo and I can write number is 1 okay and then I can just break the switch cases whenever my condition is met I can just write break keyword for that and in the same way I can uh, evaluate multiple conditions for example 1 2 3 yeah I will write 2 3 and I can just save it and let's see what is the result so I just click this switch dot php and the result is number is 1 right so you can check multiple conditions using switch cases so if the number for example I assign this number a value of 2 then I should so see this message right I will just refresh it and number is 2 in a similar way number is 3 save it and number is 3 but for example I provide some net random number here 344 then what should happen nothing is happening right now it because no condition is met that means you cannot uh, print any result okay so you can just catch this condition which is uh, no condition is true by using this keyword default okay and this default says that if none of the above condition is true this default will be executed right so I can say number not found okay and then let me make it little bigger big, little bit smaller so you can see this and I will save this and now when I run this it says number not found so this default is like else condition when none of the above condition is true then this message will be shown and it's not necessary that this uh, switch case will only work with your uh, numbers it can work with uh, for example uh, the string values so for example I want to show some grade of the student okay and for example this grade is 
capital A, right? And in here also, I can just provide capital A, and in the same way, capital B and capital C. And if student get capital A, here I will just echo excellent. And if he gets B, I just echo very good. And if he gets C, I can say need improvement, for example, right? And in this default condition, I can say no. grades found right so right now i have assigned grade is equal to a but i need to pass this variable as a condition here in switch cases and then i when i save this you will be able to see excellent because grade is a right now for example i want that if grade is capital a or small a i want to uh, print excellent okay so I can achieve this by writing something like this a small a and capital A case small a case capital A but in between these two cases there will be no break sign so what this break does is it evaluate the condition and for example this condition is true it prints the match message and it breaks from this statement and it goes to the last right but whenever you don't provide any break then your uh, condition will go here or uh, the your program will go here it will see that uh, the grade is a but not there is no break so it will jump to the second condition and it sees that grade is capital a and it will print this and now it sees that it, uh, the grade uh, the, uh, there has been a break so it will go out of this statement okay so this is also you can say it's a replica of or so if grade is small a or capital A you will print this message right so you can say whenever you don't provide any break statement in between it will jump to the directly to the next case and this two cases are considered to be in or condition case a or capital case a is true then this this will be printed in a similar way i can just use this and small b and here small c right save it and i will provide for example small b let's see what happens i can see very good right so if i provide small b or capital b i will see this message but the condition is you should not provide break in between these two cases so in this way you can use switch cases to evaluate multiple conditions in PHP. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment and subscribe and bye.